The 2025 IonQ Analyst Day is tomorrow on the New York Stock Exchange, and there's a lot of buzz in the quantum market right now for what they may or may not announce. And they've got three hours of time, and we're gonna go into what this event means and what it could potentially mean for the quantum industry. So I've got some notes prepared, and let's just jump right in. Friday, September 12th, on the New York Stock Exchange, from 9.30 to 12.30. A live stream will be available on the investor website. The event is intended for sell side and buy side analysts and the financial press. IonQ's press release notes that the executive team will give a comprehensive overview of the company's business strategy, recent milestones and product roadmap. So we don't know if there's information that we don't know yet, and we're gonna learn more about that. So why does this matter? Investor interest is high because IMQ is one of the few publicly listed quantum companies that influences the sector. The, fir the firm recently guided 2025 revenue of 82 to 100 million with quarter three revenue projected at 25 to 29 million. The analyst day may provide more precise guidance, partnerships, or customer wins. The stock is especially volatile. So if we look specifically at IonQ's stock, today the price went up 7%. And if we look at the last three months, IonQ has been jumping around a lot. So we're gonna go into kind of where it is on the stock chart, what this means, and what this event could mean. So what sort of technology updates might we see? They have repeatedly talked about their Aria, Forte, Forte Enterprise, and Tempo systems. Perhaps we get an update from them on any of their major hardware. There's always a possibility that a new partnership is announced. So we should get detailed timelines and perhaps a demonstration of improved quantum error rates. A demonstration would be amazing. So IonQ Tempo is expected to be capable of commercial advantage for certain applications. Maybe we get an update on IonQ Tempo. They also have their integration with Oxford Ionics, and maybe we get a peek into what that is going to look like for IonQ going forward. They may revise or refine their financial outlook for 2026, and we could get of a little bit of a flavor or a taste for their quantum networking and their acquisition of Capella for space-based quantum communications. So the current market mood is one of euphoria. And the euphoria is because if we look at the calendar on September 17th, Wednesday, September 17th, we have an FOMC, the Fed funds rate in the economic proje projections and the FOMC statement. So we've got a couple things that are happening at the same time. We've got a long time without a rate cut and we have one of the biggest, if not the biggest commercial quantum company on the New York Stock Exchange delivering potentially technological updates that you and I don't know or haven't heard about yet. And it could be game changing. So we, we don't know what IonQ is going to say tomorrow, but the market mood is ripe. We saw on the quantum watch list today that down the list, quantum stocks, quantum cybersecurity stocks were up 8%. CLSQ has come out of hibernation. Skywater is doing well. Rigetti did well. D-Wave has done well. And we're going into Friday, where we've had a very nice bullish week. The NASDAQ was up almost a percent. The Dow was up over a percent, almost a percent and a half, and the S&P was up. So we're up at these all-time highs, and we're going into this. So there's near certainty for a rate cut, and the analyst day is, is coinciding with just like this high elevated market hopes and expectations. So a strong announcement from IonQ is unlikely to move broader indices unless it signals a breakthrough in quantum computing. So that would be really, really fun if we saw, if, if we just kind of dream here for a second and we can keep the conversation grounded and 
talk about small advances, but we know that a lot of these companies have advanced their timelines pretty rapidly. Even the private companies like Sag Quantum and Quantinuum, IonQ, after their acquisition of Oxford Ionics, also accelerated their timeline. So perhaps they will have a meaningfully large piece of news for the market to chew on and digest. And this could help the whole sector. So the beautiful thing about quantum in, in its current state is there's no clear winner. There's no Ion Q claims to be the, the 800 pound gorilla, as the CEO would say, but there's no clear winner at this point in time. So this would be an opportune time for Ion Q to turn the spotlight on themselves and show us kind of what they have in store for the market, for investors, and for the technology and for the science and what it could possibly mean. So I'm very much looking forward to the event tomorrow. And let's also take a look at IonQ's chart. And I did mention earlier in the video that IonQ has been a pretty choppy stock. So it did have a 38% or 40% day back in May, and that put it in this new kind of realm. But as we can see, it has dropped down to as low as $35 a share multiple times since that initial rally. It's tried to squeak above 47 a few times and failed. And we're kind of right on the doorstep of that recent six month high. So going into the event, there's a lot of kind of pent up expectations. There's a lot of optimism going into INQ. Now, if we look back a year, we're actually not too far away from all time highs for INQ. And if we measure this, we just measure that out, that would only be about a 15% move. We have seen quantum stocks move a lot more than that, including INQ, as we can see this candle here, INQ moved over 40% in a day. So INQ is definitely capable of moving. And if we just bring some drawings and I can give you some ideas of potential outcomes as the stock price is concerned for this event, I think in a base case, we're gonna see some optimism potentially at market open, but I don't see us blasting all the way to all time highs. I think investors and especially hedge funds, institutions, those type of things, they, they're going to want to see what, why is it worth putting a lot of money into this company at this point in time? And so we're gonna potentially break over 48, but maybe use 48, and that's a big statement because 48 has been the spot for resistance. So in a base case, with all the optimism going in and the market backdrop, I actually see it breaking 48 and maybe just kind of hugging there until we get the announcement. Now, if the announcement is milk toast, it's not very interesting, then it'll plummet back down, maybe all the way to 39. So in a base case, I see it going there. In a bullish case, perhaps, Tomorrow is the day where we claim 48 and it goes and retests that all time high. It's very possible with the current macro, the fact that we're going into a rate cut, if they are to say anything bullish or that gets investors excited, this stock could rip. Now in a bearish case, we reject off 48.68 if the market macro is sour tomorrow and what they say isn't so exciting, then we reject and we immediately go down to 40 or even below. That That's possible. That's how volatile this stock is. So I'm watching my eyes, both eyes wide open to see what's going on tomorrow. And of course, there's been so many highlights in 2025. So they have their hybrid approach to improve power grid efficiency. They have the $1 billion deal for Oxford Ionics in that acquisition. They also had the $1 billion offering, which they did at a premium. So we've seen a lot of stocks recently do in the money offerings. Well, IonQ was able to raise $1 billion at a premium, and that premium was $55 a share. And then way down the road, even I think in the high 90s, $95 to $98 a share on some of the warrants, so they have a rock solid cash position and they're going in to this announcement with 
high investor sentiment. So excited. And I think that for the wider quantum sector, if they're able to show meaningful progress, this could be really big for other quantum stocks as well, especially some of the sleeper stocks like CLSQ, which have fallen down pretty significantly, or some of the quantum cybersecurity stocks. If we can get consistent confirmation that this is the future of computing, and this is going to be part of the supercomputing stack of the future, then that is what investors need tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Let me know in the comments what you think and all eyes are on IonQ. We'll see you guys in the next one.